What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew says that people should be thankful and praising Anthony Joshua instead of kicking a man while he's down, and they should also be thankful that Anthony Joshua is around because people wouldn't be making the money in that division without him, okay? Now, I've heard different people and what they had to say. I always look at different people's opinion on what Tony Bellew says. I even heard uh, uh, my man, Blue Blood Sports TV, he says, well, hey, you ever heard of Mayweather? You ever heard of Manny Pacquiao? Those guys were making money. Yes, I do agree. Those guys were making money like Anthony Joshua was, even more money than Anthony Joshua. The only difference was Blue Blood. He was not talking about other divisions. He was talking about the heavyweight division. The heavyweight division was dark. It was like an attic with cobwebs on it until the light came on, okay? People start cleaning it up. You start seeing all areas of the corners in that attic, okay? That attic represents the heavyweight division, okay? When the Klitschko's was up there, they wasn't making that money. Think about this. Was Klitschko making that type of money at that time? Was he making the money Anthony Joshua was making? Right? He was making pretty good, but he wasn't making that that amount of money. You know? Um, was Deontay Wilder making that type of money? I know you know the answer to that. We all know the answer to that. He wasn't making that type of money. Was Tyson Fury making that type of money? No. None of these guys were making that type of money anywhere in the heavyweight division. You can talk about Mayweather. You can reference him. You can re reference Pacquiao. Right? You can even reference Canelo, but then guess what? Those guys were popular for making money fighting each other. That was the biggest fight purse that any of those guys ever seen because they fought each other. Regularly, Floyd was making $32 million regularly, like fighting guys like Andre Berto, right? You know, he was making that type of money. But the heavyweight division was not. Everyone up there was not making any money because there was no competition up there to spark interest of giving these guys the type of money to see these guys fight because the crowd, the public didn't demand anything in the heavyweight division, okay? Until of, as of late, until Anthony Joshua knocked out Vladimir Klitschko and became a freaking superstar. That is the truth. That's the truth of it. And Tony Bellew is right because of that. I don't know about uplifting. He should be uplifting. I mean, definitely not kicking a man while he's down, but they should be thankful. Because you think Deontay Wilder would have ever been offered $100 million, you know, or $120 million, or even $12 million. Let's be real. There hasn't been money at the heavyweight division like that in a long time, people, since the Mike Tyson days. Let's even talk about the Holyfield and Lennox Lewis days. Holyfield made $30 million. That's been a long time ago, people. That's when the heavyweight division was alive. Because the public had interest of the people that was fighting in that division. You know what I'm saying? This is like, that's like Sergey Kovalev. How much money do you think he makes for those fights? It ain't $12 million. It ain't that, it ain't that big. Why? Because there's no competition up there. See, you got to know boxing before you say things like, oh, well, you know, remember Pacquiao Mayweather. No, each weight class had particular people. And if there were two fighters that were very popular, you know, or, or, or very enlightening, right? And these guys had both stardom, like Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather did. Those are the type guys, but they were known worldwide, okay? Joshua was known worldwide, and he was only fighting in the UK, and he got all that money in the UK. That was the significance of, of Anthony Joshua, okay? Germany knew him. Uh, really, everyone on the eastern part of the world knew who Anthony Joshua was. They just didn't know him over here. They know him now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they knew who he was because Deontay Wilder was then, hey, uh, I want to fight. I want to fight Joshua. Bring Joshua. You know, and everyone's seen Klitschko get retired, right? So those type of fights like the Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua, and Tony Bellew saying the heavyweight division should be thankful. Yeah, they should. 
because you had a guy that sparked interest. You had a guy that actually made that type of money that people wanted to cut from. And they wanted to cut off of what Anthony Joshua made because they knew he made a lot of money. And that was in that division. So yeah, Tony Bellew is absolutely right. You know, um, I feel that he brought the money to the division, you know, and okay, let's say to prove this point, if Anthony Joshua gets stopped by Ruiz, right? And Ruiz makes that amount of money or makes 50 million, he, he stops him in the UK, which I hope that happens. I hope he does get that 50 million, right? You know, to better his family and his career and everything. His life will change. And Anthony Joshua leaves, right? Because this is the only way we're going to know if this is true or not. Then he fights Deontay Wilder, and then Fury fights whoever the winner is or whatever, right? However that may go. Now, if you just look and observe where those fight purses are after Joshua leaves, and I guarantee you they'll be nowhere near 50 million or any of that. It'll probably be 10 million, 15 million. You know what I mean? It'll be something like that, maybe. You know, Andy, Andy Ruiz will probably get 10. Uh, uh, Deontay Wilder may, might get 15. You know what I mean? They'll throw it on pay-per-view or whatnot. You know, it, it might, it'll it'll cover their, their fight purses. You know, but let's say it doesn't do, do too good because people are still streaming this shit. Okay, well, then, you know, that, that takes a big chunk out of the profit right there. So, you know, you're still looking at, wait, 10, 15 million dollars for the fighter, uh, uh, for the top fighter or, or the A side fighter, and then 10 million for the B side fighter, which would more than likely at the time be Ruiz. But we don't know how the landscape will shift, right? So, you know, but you're still looking at mediocre money. It's good money, but it's not Anthony Joshua money. You know what I'm saying? It's not the money that he brought to the table. So I have to agree with Tony Bellew. You know, now, Tony Bell, you did go on to say um, that Andrew Ruiz is the second best heavyweight. You know, um, Tyson Fury's the first, Andrew Ruiz is the second. You know, and funny, he didn't say the third. I would like to know who that third heavyweight was, you know, and, you know, I, I because you have to remember something too, guys. This is Tony Bell, you. Tony Bell, you and Deontay Wilder don't get along. Tony Bellew was the same guy that said Deontay Wilder is the worst heavyweight in boxing history. You know, and I don't know if he meant by boxing skills or just overall character, but he said what he said. So I don't think that he would put him on this list due to public opinion, right? His own personal opinion, basically. So anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Tony Bellew's statements. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.